this week's episode we explore Casa da Viscondessa, Portuguese for House of the Viscountess, a house rich of history. A construction from the middle of the 18th century designed by the architect Marques da Silva. In 2006, this property was used as a film set for a Portuguese TV program in which three young people are involved in any type of adventure and mystery. Compared to its current state, the house is still relatively well preserved. However, in 2011 the house was sadly ravaged by a fire and it has subsequently been fallen into state of disrepair. The owner of the house has an interesting history. It is said that he traveled to Brazil when he was only 16 years old. Sadly, one day he became ill. To heal, he had to travel to the south of Brazil in order to be treated by the Indians. When he finally recovered, he considered opening a pharmaceutical factory intent on selling and perfecting the medicines that cured him. In Brazil, he married a young woman and had six children. After several years, he became a widower and lost interest in staying in Brazil, returned to Portugal where he ended up meeting a lady, Dr. Torcato's sister, who was a doctor in the local village. They fell in love. He married again and decided to go live in Porto. They made several trips to Brazil for him, to see his children and of course take care of his pharmaceutical business. Because he was very well known, rich and generous, King D. Manuel II gave him the title of Noble Knight and after some time the title of Viscount. He and his family came several times to vacation at his father-in-law's house and one day he asked him to enlarge the house, but he did not give him permission. However, he gave him land to build his own house, the house we are exploring. The house was then built, better known as Viscountess House, because that's how his wife named it. None of his direct descendants wanted to keep the house. It was Mrs. Viscondessa's grandson, engineer Afonso, who took possession because he didn't want it to be sold to people who did not belong to the family. But unfortunately, because he never decided to renovate the house, it has been degrading during the years. We are very delighted to announce that this house is currently under renovation after all those years of vacancy. So welcome back to Explore and right now we're standing in this huge palace. I can't even call it a mansion, this is just a massive palace. Yeah, only all behind Raymond. It starts these beautiful curtains and I'm gonna immediately show you the ceiling of this place. The architecture, how it's made, it's absolutely incredible. And I think this was a family weapon. This is so cool, bro. Also the sofa, it's like a sofa you only see in a very wealthy place. And it's so sad to see that it's actually, you know, rotting. It's decaying. Yeah, really decaying. But this is really strange. We have never seen this before. It's like, yeah, this, those are three little chairs, but they are made into each other. It's really strange. It's, it's like a spiral. Yeah. Do you think they had like a table in front of it and then people just could work? You know? I really don't know. Also this wardrobe, this chair. It's like so unique how they made this. Wow. And the wine is crumbing. <laughs> through that open window over here. And it's really nice because it's 
really hot temperatures now in Portugal. Yeah. It's 32 degrees Celsius. It's really hot. It's really hot. Don't know how much Fahrenheit that is, but. Well, and then what's absolutely cool is look, it's the same water, but this one is just. Isn't it falling through the ground? No, it's just collapsed in front. You can see. Yeah. Like where it used to stand on has been demolished or collapsed. And then look at your back. Wow. That must have been one of the most DK pianos I've ever seen. Also the paintings above it. I think this was a painting from the woman, you see? Yeah. It has been completely gone. Take a look. I never saw actually this much of the interior of a piano. Braunschweig, it, it, it looks like it's German. It's so crazy. <laughs> that sound room. <laughs> That's crazy, really crazy. Yes. And this music file, and there's even a written letter. Ah, oh, so the name of the woman was Maria. Yeah, the chairs are completely collapsing. They're not I stable do. anymore. I don't need to touch anything over here, man. You definitely shouldn't. This newspaper is from 1915. 15. 15. Oh. That's way years before World War II actually started. Yeah. That's crazy. Now you actually definitely can see, because you're gonna see in a minute, that this place falling apart it's a palace but it's decaying for such a long time it's unbelievable to see so we're gonna walk through the beautiful curtains we enter another part which I presume was the living room but you can see the floor we're gonna see even worse than this pretty nice setup yeah such the royalty. So right now we're going to the huge hallway of this palace and take a look. Wow. Staircase. It's a really big place. Like there's so much space to walk here. It doesn't even feel like you could live here, you know? Yeah. It would be too big for me to live here actually. And imagine that it was owned by a man and a woman and... The other people were just servants. That's crazy. Yes. Not a family, just servants. It is. And then this room... It's beautiful but it's very much decaying. Yeah. And dangerous as well. I don't know if you can see it properly but... Yeah, it's obvious on the camera. <laughs> so I guess this was their dining table. And this was like a cover for a guitar or a banjo or something. You see also the banjo or the guitar itself has been taken out and also the case of it has been fully decaying. And there is a cabinet. There is another huge S cabinet. And but what? this... <laughs> yeah, this one is just falling down. Yeah, this yeah. cabinet has just been fallen down into the basement and that's a really deep basement. And you know what is really cool about that one? Is I give it one more year Yeah. and then it's also in the basement. <laughs> you can see that one half of the closet is already ducked into the ground. <laughs> and also the ceiling is definitely not stable anymore. Well let's continue to the other part. He's got like a lot of rooms. But I know what, what was the purpose of this one. It was like a storage. I really don't know, but I can already see black mold there. Mm, I'm gonna wear my mouse again. We're thinking about our safety right now. Well, you see you can go upstairs here, but we should do the beautiful staircase, not this one. There's another room here. 
some graffiti yeah you see it a lot in portugal like this is a really big place it has been abandoned that long so that means that people know about this place it will, yeah. if it was like five ten years abandoned people would not know about this place but this is abandoned for a long time and you know what is the funniest part to come here it was like the hardest we ever had yeah it was the worst we ever did all these spiky bushes we hurt ourselves a lot but we wanted to see this place and if you see the outside you know why well okay over here we gotta watch our step again yeah i see it <coughs> and then Yeah, this is definitely traces of vandalism. Oh, yeah. What was this used to be like? A little lounge area? I think so, and it looks really cozy. Can you still sit? You can definitely still hang out there if you want. Yeah. And this doesn't feel like I'm. Um going to be in the basement in one minute you know it's funny like if I use this angle it looks like you're just sitting in a living room like it's still not abandoned and then I go above you Raymond and then there's thousands of roots <laughs> above your head just growing inside of the windows that is so crazy that is just what we really like about these abandoned places and then over here it is dangerous as you can see yeah it's dangerous also here and there is another hole in the ground over there but there is a box yeah there is like a treasure case kind of thing but it's empty of course and actually what used to be inside here i think it were clothes you think there were clothes left inside of this yeah they used to be inside i think so too man <laughs> and spider webs all around yeah, yeah this of has course. been decaying for a long time Okay, there is a hole in the ground. I already passed it. It's possible, but be safe. Yeah. We, oh. Watch every step you take. We gotta do this because we saw that over here is the kitchen. Oh, oh be safe here. Walk yeah. Really slow. So this was definitely the dining table. Look at the decay. The complete ceiling has been falling onto the table. Whoa, this was a little side kitchen, bro. You can tell that the vandalists didn't came to this part. No. Maybe they were scared. And we aren't. Yeah, well. A little bit. <laughs> we are just experienced with these uh, cracky floors. Well, this definitely was the kitchen area. And I think they have a mirror stone. So you Bro! Can crumble all the way. Only problem. imagine the, the length of this. I think this was a complete chimney. This, this is the biggest chimney I've ever seen in an abandoned place. Man, this is a complete chimney. Come this is look. absolutely incredible. Wow. Take a look. Oh. Yeah, a chimney. And then. Oh. Giant uh, stove and furnace as well. This is the washing area over here. Marble, of course. Yeah, we were talking with Danny and said it's usual, it's normal that everything's from marble here. Because marble in Portugal is like, it's, really, it's cheaper than in all the other countries because they can get a lot of it here. So if you got it in the Netherlands and Belgium, you had some money for sure. Apparently, they did have children though. But this looks very new. I don't know, maybe it's just plastic, you know, it's not like wood. <laughs> it cannot decay like that. Wait a second. Are these wooden tires? Yeah, it is wood. Really? Yeah. <laughs> is it trunk of a tree? It's wood. <laughs> oh, wow. <And> nice. <laughs> nice that you saw that. I did not even notice. And this is plastic. But, but this is wood. wood. Okay, so there's <clears throat> one last thing on the main floor. You can already see 
that this is, I think it's an organ, I'm not sure, but this is actually a secret chapel of this place. But you can tell the quantity of the spider webs, how long it has been abandoned. So this is the most dodgy part, I think. We gotta watch every step we take here. Oh, you can go over there, man. Are you going to do that? Yeah. This is safe as long as you're here. Here it's safe. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I made my way to the chapel and this was used to baptize the people, the children of course. And then, take a look. Wow. This definitely was a well-known place in the world town. I think people even came to here to, pl to pray and everything. Especially back in the days. People were very religious. But it's not like Belgium. People tend to be still very religious in Portugal. Very religious. Especially in the smaller towns and everything. Well, let's go upstairs with a beautiful staircase. Yeah. Like if, if this was like a 4D movie, you will feel the air right now. Man. So let's take a look on the first bathroom on this floor. Oh, then he shot me. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Look at this beautiful bathroom. And then what, what should this be, bro? What do you think? It's like a carrier for babies. Carrier for babies? I think so. Oh yeah, there used to be wheels on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's even an old jacket. Look at it. It's the first piece of clothing we find. Looks like a very wealthy jacket for back in the days. What should be inside this giant wardrobe? Yeah, of course, it must have been stolen. Also on this floor we have this beautiful ceiling and these two giant curtains. And again, this is like sort of a mess made by people of all these wooden furniture. But these chairs, if you restore them, these are some antiques for sure. They would easily sell on a market. All these files here on the ground. Maybe we can actually find another date. You won't find a date on that. Oh, I will. Yeah? 1917. Damn. So we found 1915 and 1917, so. I don't know if we can, yeah, we can go inside. We can walk, but you can see it's like only a wooden bed and a wardrobe. And, and I yeah. guess this was for the servants, like the first bathroom we showed you, I think it was for the man and woman. Yeah, and I think these were all the rooms for the servants. Oh. Oh. That's a DK room. Damn, homie. But I like how the sun rays is coming through the windows. Yeah. Oh, wait. I don't know if we can throw up a wall. But this looks really cool. What was this? Oh, this indeed looks really, really unique. I think it used to be in the church. I think there used to be a Maria statue or something yeah, in it. Yeah, something like that. Oh, man. 
Handmade. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Alright, so this is yet another room. I can eventually open this part, but I'm gonna give Moreno a glimpse inside. As you can see, yeah, just where again the wooden beds, some chairs, and a cupboard. It's not different than the other rooms. No, I think these were definitely for their servants. Yeah, you because know, they, they are all similarly decorated. That's why. Also take a look at these curtains. Like the yellow brown color. I really like that. What should this be used for? I don't know, it was something from a child, but I really don't know what it was used for. Well, as you can see, there must be some rooms upstairs, but we can't yeah. go upstairs anymore. There's yet even more, but this is unsafe. We're not gonna do this, bro. <laughs> this staircase, it, it isn't there anymore. Nah, we can't even walk on the staircase anymore. It isn't the staircase anymore. You can't even call it that. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the stair without stairs. Yeah, <laughs> really crazy. But unfortunately, look, yeah, but I have been in this room. It's still possible, but this room, we can't access it. Oh, I can see. Oh, I can see the other floor. Okay, so this is what the last bathroom looks like on this floor. We can still access. Again, you still see the sheets. This was also a wooden bed, same architecture. The cupboards also look pretty similar. And then this giant wardrobe. And let's check if there's something left inside. But I guess there's nothing. No. Only the hangers of the clothes are left. So that was it for this video. And the DK over here, it was insane. We did like a lot of old buildings, but I think this is one of the oldest we ever explored. And it was this huge. It's still unbelievable that it still has this really royal feeling inside of it. And <laughs> I hope you really liked watching it. Maybe some goosebumps while we were walking down here. I got them for sure. But after all, if you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, ring the bell notification button and as always we see you guys next time.